Hi folks, Doc Santa here. Um, you know, um, previously I was talking uh, a little bit about the idea of going through some things that are better for, for bigger folks. And one of the things uh, that I wanted to talk a little bit about is beds. Now, you could write a library. I mean, I'm sure there's almost libraries written on this subject. But um, there's a couple things uh, that we need to remember about beds. Um, one is the support and one is a level of comfort. You know, I, I had a, a, a wonderful experience as a youth. Uh, my grandmother was a herbalist and uh, there was something she used to say, and that is um, don't skimp. There's a couple of things you don't skimp on. One's your shoes and one's your bed, because if you're not on one, you're on the other. Now, um, so that's some, something important to think about because your spine's pretty important. As a, as a doctor of chiropractic, um, uh, I can explain it in so many different ways, but I know you probably don't want to listen to all that. Uh, it would take too long. But what I would say is this, um, you know, they, we talk about having a good foundation. Well, a good foundation to a bed is a box spring. And you know, uh, if you go way back, um, box springs were literally that. They were a box. And they were a wooden box that had pieces inside of that, keeping the sides apart. And what they would do is they literally took a piece of rope and they would put a knot in it, they'd have holes, and that rope would go back and forth and it was sitting, you know, at the top half of that box. And that's what they put the mattress on. So when you hear the phrase, sleep tight, people would literally, that rope would start to stretch and they would take these wedges and tap them in to take the, the rope and tighten it up so they'd have a good night's sleep. Isn't that crazy? But that's what people used to do. The mattresses were made out of everything from straw to feathers, but we've come a long way from that. But um, we've always fought, uh, like if you get a bigger person, um, and to have the kind of support and comfort, it can be a real challenge. Now, most of us who have are married, um, you have the issue of, well, should we flip it? Back in the old days, you'd always flip a mattress, but mo now most mattresses are no flip mattresses. Um, mattresses for bigger folks uh, need to be somewhere between 12 and 14 inches thick because, um, you know, uh, Probably 20 years ago, 25 years ago, um, mattresses were rated on the coil count. How many coils there would be in a certain uh, size of mattress. And that's how you'd be able to, that's how you could rate them. It was a wonderful system because at least people knew this is how we rate them. Now, since they put in continuous coils and all kinds of things, it just muddies the water. So what I would say is make sure that you're getting the kind of support you have. There are a number of wonderful, wonderful companies that are out there. Uh, Google is a wonderful resource to be able to just click on that and, and just put in five best uh, beds for bigger folks and you'll get all kinds of wonderful uh, pieces of information. I went through there, I didn't, I didn't uh, you know, want to um, actually advertise too much right now for them. I mean, that's not what this is about. I wanted to kind of give you an idea of what to look for and uh, and let you do that um i find that uh sometimes beds are a little bit like a truck you know if you took an old half ton truck and you kept hauling water a lot of people around here they live on acreages and they haul water in the back of their truck water is very heavy and before you know it that truck is going down the road like this instead of like this because those back springs can't take that constant heavy load and uh, that's something we need to think about our beds carry us one third of our lives. So that bed needs to be supportive and it also needs to be comfortable. As a doctor of chiropractic, um, what we find is a lot of people will try to push the length of time that they can try to make that bed last because they don't want to pay for a new bed, obviously. But one of the problems with that is by the time the bed has, has started to become a bit of a problem, it's affecting your spine. And it's been affecting your spine for probably five years. And when you, when you wait and you get a new bed, your body complains like crazy because it's so used to the bad bed that when you get a good bed, it's difficult for your body to adapt. So just remember that. Um, I usually tell people expect eight to 10 years out of a bed. Now there are some exceptions. 
some of these air beds. Um, they're like, again, it's sort of changing the rules. Um, some of these different beds that are, that are air based. Um, the main thing with them is that comfort level, uh, the topper. Um, most people will get a, either a memory foam topper or something like an IntelliBed topper. Um, it's not cheap, but for a lot of people, they love them. Um, it's worth going and trying out for yourself to check them out. Um, a lot of the places are more than, wel more than welcome uh, to let you uh, lay on them and, and see how you feel. Um, but yeah, I mean, as I said, um, there's two things you don't, you don't skimp on. One's your shoes and one's your bed. Um, there's a lot of great information out there pertaining to, to mattresses. And uh, I would just encourage you to keep looking, uh, keep trying different beds, um, different ideas. But uh, if you like what we're saying, uh, please hit the like button. And uh, if you want to hear more, just hit the subscribe button. And remember, Santa says. <laughs>